In problem number three of section 2.4, we're asked to find the expected value of the square of a random variable with a certain probability density function that's defined on a certain interval. Now, remember that anytime we transform the, um, a, pr a random variable by another function and look at the expected value, so in other words, anytime we look at um, e of g of x, this is equal to um, the integral over the domain of the random variable x. So I'll write uh, d of x is shorthand for just integral over the domain of um, it, g of x uh, times f of x. Um, and just to clarify, this is capital X. And these are lowercase x's, um, where f of x is the probability density function. So in this case, we're looking at um, e of x squared. So if we let uh, g of x equal x squared, well then, e of x, uh, the square of the random variable, is equal to the expected value of g of x. And our domain is negative 1 to 1. Is, that's the domain of our random variable x. And this would be x squared times uh, the probability density function, which is 3 quarters, which I'm going to pull outside the integral times 1 minus x squared dx. And this simplifies to 3 quarters times the integral of negative 1 to 1 of x squared minus x to the fourth dx. And so it will be equal to 3 quarters times uh, one-third x squared, or excuse me, one-third x cubed, uh, minus one-fifth x to the fifth, uh, all evaluated from negative one to one. All right, so this is finally three-quarters times, now this will be one-third minus one-fifth, And, and we'll have uh, minus uh, one-third times negative one cubed, so minus one-third. And subtract uh, one-fifth times minus one to the fifth, so uh, we need an extra negative sign. And so this is now equal to 3 quarters times, uh, here we have 1 third plus 1 third, so 2 thirds, and negative 1 fifth, negative 1 fifth, or minus 2 fifths. And if we continue this up here, this is equal to 3 quarters times the 10 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths, or 3 quarters times 4 fifteenths. And 4 cancel, fours cancel out, and 3 cancels out, leaving a 5 in the denominator. And see that the expected value is 1 fifth, or 0.2. So if we you know, so if a random variable has this probability density function, and we square it, and we want to know kind of what's the most likely value, or what, what do we expect to get, uh, the most likely value is actually one-fifth. 